Check this out. Feels exactly as cold as the vent of an AC unit. And it's super easy to use. Check this out. All right, let's get this thing fired up. I'll drop the water and the ice in there, and we're good to go. This is exactly one half gallon of water from the fridge. Definitely go with water from the fridge if you can. That way you start with really cold water and you don't have to burn through any ice to cool it off. Half a gallon, exactly. Just for the heck of it, let's use a couple of ice packs, too. Now the water pump. Watch the tubes. Amazing how fast the radiator gets cold. Like 10 seconds later, it's freezing. Absolutely freezing air coming out of there. Easily drops the temp down 20 degrees. Probably more like 30 or 35. There's the temp in the house. 81. Check that out mid 50s coming out of there that water is 35 degrees Fahrenheit Alright, here's the starting air temp now. I've got my house up to 90 Fahrenheit, or 91. 91.5. So a 30 degree temp drop coming out of this thing. That's awesome. You can't really expect more than that. Even an air conditioner usually just drops the room air temp down 15 to 20 degrees. Here's the house temp now after about 45 minutes. 77. So from 91 down to 77. In this area of the living room. Output temps based on speed, by the way, only went up one degree as you increase the speed, meaning it was about 61 Fahrenheit output at low speed, 62 medium low, 63 medium, and 64 on high speed. So the unit really held up, even at the higher speeds. There's three basic things you can do to extend the ice. Freeze the ice as solid as possible to begin with. Start with water from the fridge and run the unit on medium low. You can see by the tinsel that medium low still pushes a lot of air and you get two extra hours versus running it on high. Here's a quick shot of the wattage of the fan. Should be about six on low, nine or 10 on medium low. about 12 on medium and then finally all the way up to high about 18 
This is a high speed 12 volt computer case fan. About 100 CFM, a little more than 100 CFM actually. This thing will probably blow the bucket right off the ground. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. These things are crazy fast. This one's way oversized, but just for fun. Let me give you a quick recap of the unit. So the original unit had the four air inlets with the couplers here. The only real change I made to the unit since the last vid was I added a fifth air inlet. Went with a 90 degree air for no particular reason. Just looks kind of cool and it's what I had. But it needs the five to get a full perfect airflow with this particular fan. It seemed like it was bottlenecking on the higher speeds and then when I added this, much smoother airflow now. So that's cool. But the other things, the power steering oil cooler radiator by Hayden Automotive. It's model 1011 heavy duty. Sweet radiator. The pump's just a generic 12 volt 4 watt pump, 63 GPH. Those are pretty standard, real easy to find on Amazon. Tubing is also pretty standard. It's just 5 16 inch internal diameter, clear vinyl tubing. You can go with the 3 8 if you want also. If you do 3 8 then it fits perfectly on here. If you do 5 16 it's a little tight but it fits. But then the 5 16th is perfect on the pump, and the 3 8 is a little big. Just use the clamps, though, and then either one will work okay. So that's cool. little notch there for the cord. And let me show you the inside of this here so you can see how these look. They just come in there, those four, and then the extra one right there. So that's cool. Here's the radiator I used. Hayden Automotive Power Steering Oil Cooler. They have a few of them. I went with the 1011. It's 5 inches by 5 and 3 quarter on the finned, 9 and a quarter full length, 3 8 inch push on, and it's the heavy duty one. This one. Make sure the ice blocks that you use, by the way, are totally solid like this. Frozen completely solid. It'll last a lot longer if you do it like that.